wake up earlier. I set an alarm for 6.30. All right, I have to interrupt myself here because in the next little bit, you will find out that this video is not me trying to wake up at 6.30 and start a new early morning routine. It is me getting absolutely trashed by my own body as I fight an ear infection. I end up having to go to the doctor and was then on bed rest for like five days. So instead, I will be vlogging my experience. <laughs> my mentor suggested that I try some juices because she's kind of into juicing, so this is like a cold pressed juice. This one is for energy, so I was like, what if I have it as like a little breakfast and get a little energy before the gym? So we'll see how it makes me feel. It's mango flavored. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, it tastes like a, like a naked smoothie. In this clip, I was telling you how I just got done working out and I was feeling not tired at all and was gonna have a super productive day. But what I didn't tell you was that my ear was actually really hurting and I was starting to not be able to hear out of it. I ended up getting convinced by my mom to go to a clinic just to see if something was wrong. Why do they have to be doing this outside right now? So today was supposed to be really productive and I'm still glad that I woke up as early as I did so that I'd actually go to the gym and stuff because I probably wouldn't have now knowing what I know. I am holding a prescription, two prescriptions actually. I'm just gonna lay in bed and literally just cry. Not cry, but I am in pain, a lot of pain. So I'm gonna take some ibuprofen, she said I could, and do nothing the rest. Honestly, that girl had no idea what she was talking about and no idea the amount of pain and crying she was about to suffer. Two days later. Hello everyone. I wanted to catch you up a little bit. I have no idea what I sound like. Hopefully, I'm not talking too quiet. I can only hear out of this ear and it's very muffled, so. I was feeling really just overwhelmed by how dirty my room was from being sick for a couple days, so I kind of was just cleaning up and I ended up vacuuming, sweeping my closet, cleaning Phoenix's litter, and it literally took all of my energy, so now I'm exhausted. Basically, I have a really bad ear infection and it's in both of my ears. This one is completely like closed and inflamed so I can't hear out of it. And I can kind of hear out of this one but it's really painful today. Today is the first day I'm feeling a little bit more energetic but my ears still hurt really bad. So I'm just kind of pushing through the hard times right now. I went to the doctor on Wednesday, it's now Friday. I'm really hoping I'm better by tomorrow because we're having game night with my church group and I've been looking forward to this for so long. It is now time for your reenactment of what it's actually been like for the past couple of days. I've literally just been laying in bed in so much pain, falling asleep, but then getting jolted awake because my ears hurt so bad and like trying to figure out how to ease the pain, but I can't. Having to sleep in a travel pillow and even that would still hurt because I literally could not lay on my ears. I couldn't touch my ears, nothing. And then I started to get absolutely freezing. So I did decide to take my temperature and I ended up having a fever and then I had like a stiff neck and then my head started hurting. So it was just a lot of symptoms. So I called my doctor and she said to just keep taking my medicine and that it would eventually go down and take some Tylenol. So really nothing I could do about it. So speaking of medicine, I had to put three to four drops three times a day into my ear and then just like lay on my travel pillow and wait for it to help it feel better. This actually was kind of relieving, so I really enjoyed this one. Uh, then I just had an antibiotic that I would take twice a day every 12 hours and I had to learn how to swallow this large pill. And then lastly, I just had like some painkillers that I've been taking for a couple days. I would try to watch my show, which I'm watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now on Disney+, Plus. but my ears would literally hurt so bad and I could barely hear it anyway. So it like wasn't even worth it to try to watch a show. I did get to watch a few episodes over the course 
course of the couple days, but I really was just asleep the whole time. I took a lot of baths because I was literally on bed rest basically and so it was nice to just have a little change of scenery and then I could do this next method in the bath continuously which is where I would take a cloth and wet each side with like super hot water and then just hold it up to my ears for as long as it would stay hot and this felt so good this was the only time my ears would kind of stop hurting and my hair was in this like nasty bun for like three days. But another little update for you guys is that I got a letter from my apartments about renewing my lease and they're upping the rent like a lot. And so I think I'm gonna move to a different place. I know I made a whole video about buying a house, selling my house, but I don't know if you guys keep up much with what's going on. Interest rates are more than double what they were when I bought my house. So at this point, I don't think now is a good time to buy a house. And it's really nice having that extra income from renting out my house in Missouri. So I'm just gonna to rent it out for another year and live in another apartment for another year so coming up here soon in the next like week or two i will be doing a lot of apartment hunting and then we'll have moving vlogs little mini series of moving coming soon i would say i'm really excited but i'm also like not looking forward to that time because it's so much work and i have so much clutter like i really want to start decluttering like right now but just walking takes like all of my energy my body is so sore because obviously my body's using like everything to fight this infection and my lower back hurts really bad from just laying in bed all day, but I can't really do anything else. Today's the most that I've like moved in multiple days. And I also have like no appetite, so I haven't really eaten anything in like three days. It's like little bites of stuff. My boyfriend uh, took off work early yesterday to come check on me and help me and make me food. And I literally took one bite of the food that he made, so just no appetite. I am attempting to eat right now. Um... <coughs> I feel like puking because I opened the fridge. Just whatever smell was in there. I don't think there's anything bad in there, but oh my gosh, that was just too many smells. So I decided to grab some pepperoni and some pickles that I have in this little Ziploc. I'm really hoping I can get through this because my stomach is really hurting, but I also want to throw up. I'm now gonna try to make myself feel better by taking a shower. I just spent so long brushing out my hair and putting in like a treatment in it because it was so bad. It's just been in a bun on top of my head for like two or three days. I also finally changed my clothes today. The past couple days I was wearing the exact same clothes every day and I felt disgusting. <laughs> I've got my little thing on to dry my hair, but guys, I feel so much better. I even shaved everything, so I'm real nice and smooth, wearing all new clothes, and feeling much better. Obviously, my ears still not doing great. I still can't hear, but I feel better. So if I just convince myself that I'm better, then I am, right? Don't worry, I'm still doing all my medications on time and everything. I'm not I actually left the house, and I can't hear anything, but that's good, because blenders are loud. Um, they, it's flip flop day, so I have my burks on and got a free smoothie in the floor. So after I got home, I think I went a little too hard and I just knocked out. I literally fell asleep at like 10 o'clock at night, but I was in bed for a couple hours, took a nap, woke up, and then went to bed at 10 o'clock at night. Today I'm feeling better, a little bit more energy, been staying on top of the medicine. I actually left the house today, but it was to go look at apartments, so can't give any spoilers for the apartment tour video. It was fun. I think today I want to try to eat some food. I'm literally so annoyed because if you guys know me, I love food. It's like a part of who I am. I'm just a food. I'm a foodie. I love food. So not being able to eat because my body won't let me is... I'm trying to look for like the worst word. Despicable. It feels like a betrayal to myself. So I'm gonna go try to make something and hopefully eat it. Welcome to my coming of age series where I try to eat food when I'm sick. Except I'm not sick. I'm infected. That's so much worse. Is it? No, yeah, it is. This is the worst I've ever felt in my life. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> Didn't see you there. I have no idea what to eat actually. I feel like the only thing I could get myself to eat, well so far this has been the case, unhealthy foods such as chocolate chips. <laughs> it hurts to open my jaw. In like two hours I'm going to a thing with my, my church friend. There's gonna be food so I don't really need to eat that much right now. I forgot that I have the 
that didn't make any sense. What is this called? Meal prep that I made, but then I got sick and lost my appetite, so I haven't been eating it. But I think my appetite is back because I actually am feeling pretty hungry. So I'm gonna eat this. It is Monday now. I did end up making it to my thing on Saturday night, game night, but it was definitely difficult. I had to leave halfway through to go take more medicine because my ears started to really hurt and everything got really, really muffled. I also ended up being able to go to church on Sunday, although the worship music was very weird sounding because everything was muffled, but I still really enjoyed it and even went to the park with all my church friends. And so the pain is definitely down. It's just being able to have conversations with people is definitely really difficult because <laughs> I can't hear. Like everything's really muffled, which is so weird to experience. I have, I would say 80% of my energy is back today on Monday. I'm still trying to take things really slow. I don't know if I should get back in the gym yet until I'm fully healed. My next doctor's appointment is on Wednesday to see where we're at, see if I need more medication and all that. It's definitely been rough and I don't think I've ever been in this amount of pain before. In conclusion, I'm actually really proud of myself for overcoming my like, not fear, but just not wanting to go to the doctor and just doing it, getting my prescriptions myself at the pharmacy, figuring out how that works with insurance because I actually have health insurance now. So even though this video was nothing what I wanted it to be, here you go. Here's a little bit of me pushing through. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can actually make the waking up at 6 30 video soon once I'm better. I will see you guys in the next episode of this series and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Love you!